Hi, I'm Himali De Silva, the CEO and founder of Ape and Obey. I'm Jude Kumar. I'm the founder and CEO of Eat Me. We are a commission-free food delivery app in Sri Lanka. I actually did a proof of concept a few years ago, but then my dad got diagnosed with cancer, so I had to temporarily halt. But then as a tribute to him during lockdown last year, I rebranded, renamed and relaunched it. And, you know, it's been an interesting ride so far. Ape is a platform to raise awareness of circular consumption and is leading the way in Sri Lanka to create a circular economy. Obey is my way of sharing my plethora of knowledge, insights and understanding with businesses and personal brands to help them grow their brands. I think it was very challenging uh, and, and rewarding as well. Uh, you know, we helped a lot of people get their essentials. We helped a lot of merchants stay in business and save a lot of commissions. I think the team and I uh, spent a lot of sleepless nights improving technology, processing thousands of orders. So, you know, it was extremely, uh, uh, I would say, a, a, not a difficult, but definitely a challenging period for us. So this one's actually a little hard to talk about. I did an interview for a different radio station and that led to me being cyberbullied. I'm minding my own business, talking about my business literally, and suddenly this huge social media account who has a personal issue with me for who knows what, decided to spread defamatory and slanderous information which are not true. I think the uh, biggest challenge for us was keeping up with the growth during these uncertain periods. Um, you know, it was, uh, we, we had thousands of people relying on us as we launched, uh, and that grew to tens of thousands of people who relied on us for their essentials and, and food deliveries. So we had to recruit uh, a large number of riders uh, and also, you know, increase the number of merchants on our platform very rapidly. Uh, at the same time, the, the safety of our team members and our, and our riders were of course very important to us and that often dictated how our operations went. Uh, so that is something that we had to plan in and we had to uh, factor in when we operated. How I managed to overcome it is I went to the correct authorities. I also spoke to lawyers specializing in defamation law. And to my surprise, I found out that the defamation laws in Sri Lanka are really, really strong. And you have two years within the act, from when the act was done to you, to actually file a case against the person. I think the most important thing is you have to think quick and act fast. Uh, and you have to always plan ahead. Um, so what we did was we always planned three months ahead, uh, you know, making sure that we have a plan B just in case things changed. And we did not just only plan it three months ahead, but we acted on it three months ahead. So um, I think overall, knowing what your priorities are in your organization, so understanding what's very important to the customer and focusing on that aspect and fixing that, that aspect as quickly as possible is what's important for a startup during a pandemic. Honestly, believe in your idea. If it's something you truly believe in, Pursue it. You have nothing to lose. It's better than turning back one day in 50 years and thinking, what if? What if I pursued that? I think I would advise to find the right problem to solve. Uh, you'd find that a lot of people are not willing to pay for most of the solutions uh, that, you know, to, to, to their problems. So I think finding the right problem and then doing a lot of research, talking to your friends, your family, and talking to, of course, a lot of strangers and asking them and interviewing them on, on what your solution is to that problem and whether they actually would use that solution is very, very important. But it's very important for you to actually believe in yourself throughout the whole process because the core problem is something that you have to really believe in. If you do that, then no matter how you update the solution or how you deliver the solution, you're always going to be very confident in what you achieve.